and this is the thing that I advocate more than anything, physical fitness is the cure to 99% of people's problems, particularly, you know, mental health problems, because I'm, I'm not going to go and try and get scientific on it, but, you know, the chemical releases, the endorphins, the dopamine hit, you just feel good. And I'll, in my opinion, human beings are at their happiest and most productive when they're growing and, and improving in their lives. And when it comes to fitness, particularly jujitsu, yeah, we were talking earlier, I'm in a phase right now where I feel flat and I'm not making any progress. But most of the time, I'm always making progress, even if it's like a little tiny bit and like a 1%. And that makes me feel good. If you don't have anything like that in your life, if you're just getting up, doing the nine to five, your diet shit, you don't go to the gym, you've got the bad circle of friends, it's all gonna have a negative impact on your mental health. When if you flip the switch, you get a bit of a you know routine going on, some habits, you get up, you train. Even People say they don't have enough time. I'm not talking about running a marathon every morning, 20 minutes of hit training in the morning, right? Before you go to work, boom, job done. Healthy breakfast, fasting, whatever you wanna do, get to work. You know, in an ideal world, you're doing a job that you love, right? So you're a bit more enthusiastic, a bit more passionate. You've got good friends there that, you know, they're not going, oh, we're gonna go down and get minging on the weekend. No, actually, I'm gonna go spend time with my family, go to a personal development seminar, I'm going to a music concert, you know, I'm not gonna, drink myself into a stoop on the weekend. You've got to put all these little pieces of the puzzle in place and they all have either a positive or a negative impact on your mental health and your mindset. And none of it's that difficult. Mm. This is one of the frustrating things <laughs> about it. You've just got to decide that that's what you're going to do, commit to it and then take action on it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, 100%. I think jujitsu is such a good medium as well because I think, and again, we've talked about this already and this applies, I think maybe more to just like, non-servicemen and non-military uh blokes because i think you guys are how you form that camaraderie in the relationships and the bonds <clears throat> through the training and, and through your tours and, and through everything that you go through together you go through that kind of adversity physical adversity as part of the job yep and i think that from what I, i've not been in the military so i'm not going to make out that i know but i'm assuming that the bonds that you you get with people as a result of that are quite strong, mm -hmm. um, like family, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I think a lot of people that maybe haven't been in the military, haven't been in jujitsu, like you say, have maybe got some shit friends around them or maybe no friends around them and they don't have people that they can truly kind of rely on and trust. Mm -hmm. And I think Brazilian jujitsu is amazing for that because you go in and you start meeting new people from all walks of life. You go through physical adversity together and mm -hmm. you're essentially playing a, a game of who's going to kill each other with whose body first, right? <laughs> right. So there's a level of trust with that. Yeah. Because, you know, not that he ever does, but if you were to get hold of my neck, right. <laughs> one, day, one day, one <laughs> day. Um, but, you know, he's, he's, you know, if he didn't let go, I'd be dead, right? Yep. So there's a level of trust to that. If I tap your arm, you're going to let me go. And I think when you go through that, but it's the same with any, any group exercise, whether it's CrossFit, right. where you just go through it together, you form really good bonds with people. So I think Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but to your point, any exercise really, mm -hmm. but certainly exercise with others, I think has a huge impact, I think, on on people from a social component. Mm. Yeah. So a lot of people ask me, they're like, well, if you ask any veteran what they miss most about the military, they'll say it's the lads or, or the girls, yeah. right? And this is just my opinion, but it's pretty much what you just said. Like in the Royal Marines, you start on day one and you all go through the same training syllabus to get to the end to get your green beret, right? Now, whether that's in the same troop, whether someone did it 20 years before you, 20 years after you, if you meet that person, having never met them before, you know they've been through the same adversity and shared hardships that you've been through to earn that green beret. Same as jujitsu. You start on day one, you turn up, you get choked <laughs> up by a 15 year old that weighs six stone and you're like, I don't know what happened, but you stick with it and then you get a stripe then you get a blue belt and a purple belt. By the time you get to a black belt, I imagine, I'm not there yet, but everyone you meet, has been on that same journey. They've experienced the same highs, same lows. They've won comps, they've lost comps, but you've got that, that those shared experiences, right? And this, this is what Reorg do, that you said about communities. But that could be the same in cycling. It could be the same in open water swimming. It could be the same in hiking, right? It's a group of people going through the same physical challenges of, you know, today I swam 110 meters instead of 100. Boom. Today I climbed you know, higher than I climbed last week on the mountain, boom. Today I cycled another 10 minutes, boom. And you're sharing, you're celebrating together, you're forming bonds and relationships through physical adversity. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's powerful, it's, it's, it's crazy.
yeah, it's it's massively powerful. And I think the skills acquisition as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I think you mentioned about obviously goal setting and and having purpose. And I think with jujitsu, um, you're always learning new skills. Yeah, that's and what one of my mates said to me when I when he started before me. Yeah, he was like, we were doing CrossFit together for a while. He started jujitsu, and then one of the things he said to me that that made me want to start was like, as soon as you get injured with CrossFit, say you're injured for three months, yeah, you've lost all that hard work. Mm-hmm. He said with jujitsu. It's, it's a skill acquisition. So yeah. what I learn, I'm keeping. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's yours, isn't it? Then once you've got it, it's yours. Yeah. Where a lot of the other stuff, it's, it's gone, you yeah. know? And obviously you can take breaks from jujitsu and come back to it. And you may not be as sharp as you were, but it, it doesn't really go, mm-hmm. does it? You Muscle know, memory, yours. come back quick enough. Exactly, yeah. yeah. But we were talking about it offline before uh, before you came in and talking about how Mark will like reflect on his jujitsu and just ponder mm. it. And, mm. and I think that's to your point as well. Yeah. You know, you can still go and hang out and watch and you can still think and you can still watch tape and you can still learn. So you're always learning with it. I think every fucking bloke should try it. It sounds mad. Yeah. Like, obviously, I'm really new to it, but I think everyone should try it. Yeah. I say it because <laughs> there's nothing better, is there? When you're when you fucking, like today I was knackered, mm. absolutely shattered, an hour rolling, Shattered. Mm-hmm. But you feel so good after, don't you? Yeah. You know, I got chinned for an hour, but I was happy. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm like I get chinned all the time. I'm Do you know what constantly. Mean? And it's weird, isn't it? Me. It's a weird fucking. It's yeah. a weird feeling. And as well, I like it because I don't want to get punched in the face. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not there. I'm not doing it to no, try yeah. and. You're dumb enough, mate. Right? You can't, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck me. Imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> but it's true, though, isn't it? I don't want to go into something where you know MMA and stuff like that, where you're going to get just chinned all the time and stuff like that. Thirty three. I don't want to do that. You know. Whereas I like it that like you're still still fighting enough to know that you can handle yourself but not enough that you're ever really going to hurt yourself you know I quite like that yeah. side of it and it's mental like for me you know I, I, I'm missing three limbs I'm, I was saying to you earlier I'm going for a phase right now where everything feels a bit flat I don't feel like I'm advancing I feel like everyone's battering me but if you put me now to roll with like a, a new blue belt or something I could take them out like legit, legit do you know what I mean and and that's from a holistic point of view, the big pictures, that skill acquisition you're talking about. I'm just forgetting about it because I'm rolling with brown belts, black belts. I'm 62, 63 kilos. No one is as little as I am, right? So everyone's bigger and heavier and stronger. And I forget that sometimes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just, that it's a, it's life skills as well that you're picking up when you're training. Yeah, and I think we always talk about how it humbles you as well. It mm. kind of crushes your ego a little bit. Yeah, and, that, kill, and that kills, kills mine. <laughs> yeah, it will. It will. But but I think that that releases like sometimes your ability to to take on new information and learn. Because I think if people have got a bit of an ego, they can be quite um, like arrogant and with information. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So they won't listen to people because they think they know better. Um, you know, they won't do this because they think they've already tried it. But I think with something like jujitsu, again, that humbling experience just removes that, and it just allows you to be a little bit more free with yeah. with the things you try and, and the things that you'll take on board and listen to. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's amazing. Everybody should try it for sure. <laughs>